Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I am going to be predicting my scores for match day three. Um, once again, like the match day two video, I have to do my score predictions a little bit earlier um, whilst match day two is still going on um, because there's there's no there's no breaks uh, in between uh, in between these matches, there's always a match on every single day. So um, today I am going to be bringing you my match day three predictions. Um, please put in your score predictions uh, below in the comment section as well. And let's just have a look. Uh, currently, I've got 94 points. Got 51 points from match day one, and currently I've got 40 points from match day two. Um, getting the Italy and Switzerland, the Ukraine and North Macedonia and the Belgium and Denmark game correct. Got the Ukraine and North Macedonia one bang on with ev everything correct. First player to score and first team to score as well. Um, and I was close with the Netherlands and Austria game. And then these are the games that haven't played yet. Sweden, Slovakia, Croatia, Czech Republic, England, Scotland, um, Hungary, France, Portugal, Germany and Spain and Poland. But... Today, I am going to be predicting match day three. Um, let's just have a look to see where I am in the league as well. Um, currently, wow, I'm currently 2,000th place out of 1.6 million um, people, which is really good there. Let's get on to the predictions for match day three. And it is starting off against Italy and Wales. Um, Italy um, should win this one. They had a very good start to the tournament with two 3-0 wins. Wales, um, with four points out of two games as well, beat Turkey 2-0. Um, and um, it was a good good performance by both of these teams. Um, few people saying it'll be 3-0 again. I don't think it will be. I think it'll be... More tough match for this one. I'm going to go Italy 2, Wales 0. No. I don't think Wales will be able to score in this one. Um, but uh, Italy will get another three points. A bit more of a, I don't know, not mu not a thrashing for Wales, but a, a comfortable victory for Italy. Switzerland and Turkey. Um, Turkey haven't had the best of starters. Um, and Switzerland got the 1-1 draw with Wales. Lost to Italy 3-0. Turkey got um, beat by Wales 2-0 and by Italy 3-0. So Switzerland really should have this for third place um, in the group. But it really, if Turkey win this one, then Turkey will be third place in the group. So this is a very big game. And I'm going to say it's 1-1. I'm going to go for a draw here. And Switzerland will um, finish in third place in the group. Whether or not that will be enough to make it through to the next round I'm not sure next up Ukraine and Austria Ukraine beat North Macedonia 2-1 lost, lost to the Netherlands 3-2 Austria did beat North Macedonia 3-1 but then lost to the Netherlands 2-0 I think this is going to be another tough game and I'm going to go for another draw with this one I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw I might edge Ukraine for a 2-1 win but I'm going for another draw with this one. Um, so far, all three of my predictions have been the popular ones. Um, let's hope that it doesn't really like continue that way, because um, uh, I never trust the, the the scores which the majority really go for, um, which is weird. But North Macedonia against Netherlands should be an easy one. I'm not going to go for the majority in this one. Who said four 0 to the Netherlands? Um, 12% of people did. This will be... North Macedonia have managed to score one goal in every one of their game so far. One against Austria, one against Ukraine. They're not going to score one here. It's going to be a 2-0 victory for the Netherlands in this game. Okay, so that is now um, match day... Um, not match day. This is now group one and group two completed. Um, group A and group B. Uh, so I'm now just going to go on to... Quickly, first team to score will be Italy because I've just forgot to fill these in. First player to score um, will be... Ooh, it'll be Immobile. 
Um, not going to play my double booster. First thing to score in this one, I'll go for Switzerland. And it will be a goal from Mbolo. Not playing my times two booster for this one. Ukraine and Austria. I'll go for Ukraine for the first one to score. And first player to score it. I got this one right last time. Am I going to go for Yarmolenko again this time? Don't think so. I'm going to go for ah, Yarmolenko again. Why not? Okay, so that now moves us on to North Macedonia and Netherlands, where Netherlands will obviously be the first one to score. Uh, first player to score. I got Depay right last time with a penalty, but this time I'm going to go for either. I've got I've now got twice in a row the correct player to score the first goal. First of all, it was Wijnaldum. Second, it was Depay. Now, I think it's going to be... Um, I don't know. It won't be Dumfries, I don't think, even though he managed to score that goal last game. Uh, gonna go for Weghorst. I think it'll be um, something different. Um, why not? Um, okay, so there we are. We're all up to date with the first team and player to score. And now we're going to continue on with our score predictions with Belgium and Finland. Now, this group is very vital um, because so far, Belgium is first place with um, six points after winning their first two matches. Second place is... Um, Russia no it's fin Finland second place is Finland with um, three points after beating Denmark uh, zero goal difference because they won 1-0 and then they lost 1-0 and then Russia is in third place with a minus two goal difference after being beaten by Belgium 3-0 but beating Finland 1-0 and Denmark is bottom with zero points but if they beat Russia they will then be on three points so everyone will be on three points there everyone will be on three points but Denmark will have the goal difference um, against Russia because they currently have a goal difference of minus two and Russia have a goal difference of minus two so if Denmark beat Russia that means Russia will have even more minus goal difference. Everyone will be on three points. Denmark will move into third place. And if Belgium beat Finland 2-0, um, then Denmark will then suddenly shoot up into second place from fourth place. And I'm going to back Denmark to do that overall because Denmark is such a, a good team. And it, I think it's it's underrated. Denmark is so underrated. Um so I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Belgium here. Belgium to be the first team to score. We'll go for the first player to score with Lukaku again. It wasn't the first one to score last time, but I'm going to go for it this time. I don't think I'm going to play my times two booster in this one. For Denmark and Russia, it will be a pretty close game, I think. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory for Denmark in this one. Um, Denmark to score first. It could be 2-1, um, something like that. Um, but it's going to be very close. And the first player to score will be Martin Brathwaite has not scored a goal yet for Denmark and he will be the first one to score in this game. Now, do I change this to a 2-1? Do I... Russia only got the 1-0 win their victory against Finland. They're not really a team that can score that many goals. I'm going to keep it with 1-0 to Denmark. Okay. Next up, England against the Czech Republic. England haven't played their match yet. That's against Scotland tonight. And neither has Czech Republic. That is against Croatia this afternoon. But I do think that England can win this one 2-0. First one to score. England, first player to score. This one... 
it's going to be very hard because England haven't played Scotland yet. I've said Harry Kane would score the first one for England tonight. But I'm going to go for a Phil Foden goal against the Czech Republic. Croatia and Scotland, it'll be a very tough game. Again, I'm just going to edge Croatia to get a 2-1 win in this game. Um, with Croatia to be the first one to score. And the first player to score for Croatia, I will go for Perisic. Okay, Sweden against Poland. Another tough one, this. Because neither team have played yet for match day two, so I can't really predict for match day three. So these... Um, Sweden, I know that it was a 0-0 draw with Spain in the first game. Poland lost 2-1 to Slovakia. I think it's Poland's turn to get some points on the, the table this afternoon and then they'll continue with another, po uh, another point here. And it'll be a, not a 2-1, it'll be a 1-1 draw in this game. And the first team to score, I'll go for Poland with no other than their main man, Robert Lewandowski. Okay, Slovakia against Spain. Gonna go for a 1 0 victory for Spain because Slovakia have a very strong defence. And if Spain can only get a 0 0 draw with Sweden, this will be very tight. But I am gonna back Spain for this one. First one to score for, um, for Spain. Let's have a look at the options. We'll go for Morata. Okay, Germany and Hungary. Um, yeah, 2 0 Germany. Um, then, first player to score for Germany will go for Thomas Muller. Yes. And then, this is when I'm going to play my times two booster in this game with Portugal against France. And it's going to be a very tight one. And I'm going to back France to get a 2 1 victory here. Uh, first team to score will be France. Portugal will equalise, but then France will get a, a winner later on. And it will be Benzema or Kylian Mbappe that gets the goal. It's going to be Benzema to get the first goal of the game. And I'm going to play my double booster. Yes, there we go. Wow. We're all done for match day three. Let me know your score predictions for match day three in the comment section below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.